Hey there, what's up Sagittarius? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Zen in the Void. I am Zen in the Void uh, and I'm back uh, after a short break uh, after, you know, just having to like kind of just like go within a little bit and see what it is that I need. Uh, I'm back and I'm feeling literally better than ever and I just felt like you guys should know that I'm your reader. Uh, so I feel like you need to, you know, you got to be able to trust that your reader is taking care of themselves so that they're giving you you know proper guidance and you know uh from from the from a place of love and um pure intention so um with that being said welcome to zen in the void gemini's uh i am doing readings for the highest viewed videos you guys came in second so thank you so much for uh watching me and showing me love gemini's and ooh, i am so sorry sagittarius i'm sorry y'all i was over here um waiting on the video to upload and I, I guess i just confused myself a little bit so excuse that little little mistake i'm human you know um but yes sagittarius sagittarius gemini's gave me the most views however sagittarius came in second so i appreciate you guys so much y'all obviously love me like i love y'all so you know let's get right into the reading okay so, so for the sake of time honey I just had to um, pull all you guys' cards out because I was waiting on the video for Gemini to upload. So uh, I just, you know, I'm in a time crunch a bit. Uh, I have other things to do. I have so many projects and that's kind of why I had to take a pause. I realized I was burning myself out and just kind of like overdoing it on the work front. Like I was trying to, you know, do too much at once. But anyways, uh, you know, back to you, Sagittarius. Uh, this is all for you y'all have quite a message it came out very clear sagittarius so let's get right into it i got a chance to look over it um so there is a practicality you know about you all at the moment you're definitely you've you've you were in a place of focusing on financial security uh you know you had your creature comfort you has you had the things that you know you loved to kind of like accompany you on your journey with work so not only were you working hard you were like enjoying whatever creature comforts you like whether that be staying home watching movies eating junk you know sexual interludes you know partying clubbing whatever it was i say all of the the first ones because it's quarantine so the inside stuff is all we can really do every time i get in your energy i feel really saucy by the way i be i was i was chilling before i was very much so meditated but um, yeah, y'all were definitely worried about the, the coin and, you know, just kind of enjoying life along with that. But however, there was this loss of balance and this one-sidedness and disharmony that came very abruptly in your lives when it comes to like a partnership, when it comes to some type of duality and union. So it could be relationship wise, but I'm feeling like it was more so having to do with work or a partnership involving work uh, or creative or passion passion driven uh, projects or endeavors um yeah there was a swift change you got the lovers in reverse here um so there was a loss of balance one side in this disharmony so everything was going well and then everything just kind of went to shit. you know there was a loss of balance disharmony uh and the reason for that is because there was a sense of like you know like apathy like someone was just not satisfied with what was happening you know probably in their head a lot contemplating from a place of emotion feeling disconnected from what is happening um i asked spirit you know i, I clear i asked spirit to give me a clarifier why are these two cards here why was there a loss of balance why was there this apathy and this disconnectedness and spirit said that you know two two of pentacles you know, two of pentacles, you see that? So basically there was, um, there was a need to balance decisions and priorities and adapting to the changes that were were happening. There was all these changes and for some reason it threw the, uh, this whole partnership off balance, you know? Priorities were in different places, you know, there was a need to adapt to changes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when change when when change comes up or conflict that could break up any type of partnership where people are having conflicting views or different, you know, 
but this is about you Sagittarius so you may could have been the one who you know had a problem and the rest of the reading also showed me that this is true you had an issue with adapting to change uh Sagittarius and I feel like that was something that came up in the last reading that we did or just the overall like Sagittarian kind of thing like uh, I feel like you guys usually just kind of do what is tried and true for you and what you want to do and you know you wanted to kind of go your way because you know it's your show you're deeply intelligent you just like look I need I know how this needs to go so I you know maybe some of you could have issues with adapting to change that seems like a big theme in this whole reading so far um we got the princess of wands here uh in the reverse, so there was a lack of direction with whatever this partnership was and, and a procrastination, creating conflict. So I feel like after this uh, partnership or job or passion project, whatever it was, this union, uh, when it was thrown off of balance, um, it caused you, Sagittarius, to have a lack of direct, uh, direction and uh, Ooh, y'all procrastinating over like how to move forward it's it was creating conflicts maybe between you and the people you were doing the project with um you're pr maybe procrastinating on how to fix it or how to move forward in your life spirit literally just wants you to adapt to the changes and i feel like you're really getting thrown could possibly really be getting thrown off your game about it spirit wants you to be ambitious the uh, page of pentacles is here spirit says there's this brand new soil that i've laid upon you to to uh farm and to to plant your seeds into it's the new moon so ha i didn't say that but happy new moon sagittarius uh spirit i think uh this reading is basically letting you know that spirit is literally gifting you this brand new soil this brand new plot of land to seed into spirit just wants you to adapt to changes and be adaptable that's literally about it and that's the message that i've been getting you know for so many people so because you're getting it specifically it could be really going on in your life spirit wants you to be ambitious uh, have desire and diligence towards this this new way of doing what you were doing already spirit wants you to really dig into to and lean into your partnerships your friendships communities because that will bring you happiness literally like lean into the community lean on friends you know stop trying to be by yourself and and you know just kind of like be not flexible just being rigid you know what i'm saying and uh that's because this is uh this is faded this is a faded cycle that is coming about in your life sagittarius this is fate literally coming into play bringing you new cycles brand new things you know what you were doing before with your creature comforts you were comfortable and your financial security and what you were doing before that's probably by why you're so inflexible anyone can understand that if you're working and you got your groove going no one really wants to change that because you know the the change could bring you into a space where you're unfamiliar you're like oh, well, i don't know how to deal with this but change grows you it challenges us so yeah fate definitely brought you new cycles um and eventually you're going to accept it and move on spirit wants you to accept and move on and find peace with these changes um so even though this is advice now this section is like advice from spirit i feel like it's also your own it could be your overall energy so it's like you take it you know you, you're getting able being able to see the future or see what what's happening and how you need to solve it so it's up to you to solve it however you choose to spirit is just kind of giving you the blueprint saying okay this is what's going on and this is how you can fix it so at the end of the day sagittarius i'm just being kind of intuitively pulled to say like as well like you know it's up to you to to say okay to these changes and put them you know incorporate them into your life spirit wants you to accept and move on and find peace um within these changes you know because you'll find victory i just love this card by the way Ugh, if i can pick it up <laughs> this six of wands is such a pretty card y'all i love it because first of all that that hue of purple like that purple in the back is just sexy you know with the like egyptian like staffs and wands like that is so beautiful that's victory that's victorious that energy is regal you know you got the turquoise you got the red like that's straight up 
victory that's regal you know all i'm saying is is spirit definitely wants to bring you success victory and public reward with these changes when you accept and move on and find peace you know you will find victory is what spirit wants you to know um the devil card here in the uprights uh sorry in the reverse says that you 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 will or you can find freedom and release you know when you adapt to changes and restore the control you know over over what was happening you know spirit just kind of you know when you when you level up of course the playing field will be different like you have to adjust to the changes and you know you'll have to like kind of get your get your uh Get your game up, get your skills up. You know, how else can we grow? How else can we? And I'm sorry if I look like really tired or something. This is literally like my, I just washed my face and went about my day kind of look. It's for me, you know? I, I just, I'm in a chill mood and I didn't want to put anything on like that. So if I'm looking like washed to y'all, like I'm not, I'm, I'm well rested, well meditated. I feel amazing. I just thought I should share that Sagittarius. I know, you know, I feel like Sagittarius can appreciate someone being very serious about their work and like taking time to make it right and um, all of that. So uh, just felt the need to say that. Anyways, enough about me. You know, this is me in regards to you and your reading, you know, you don't want somebody who just rolled out of bed and just like, hear some messages you know maybe you do i don't know i don't care all i know is you know i'm good i'm clean happy well i don't know anyways yeah spirit just wants y'all to literally you know free yourself and release yourself from the old way of doing what you were doing level up you know um challenge yourselves restore control and find release and freedom and adapt into changes Adapting to changes literally frees you if you think about it like if you're so rigid and stuck to doing one thing You're kind of almost prisoner to that to that thing to that uh, cycle or whatever So yeah spirit wants you to just kind of have more passion reignite your passion in life and, and you know just like going down this new path um After that the uh, ace of swords and reverse came out and that kind of confused me, right? Because this card is about confusion, brutality, and chaos. So, I asked Spirit, like, I was shuffling and I asked Spirit, like, okay, why is this card here if all of this happiness is going to come out of them, you know, freeing themselves, adapting to changes, and moving on and finding peace? And... I heard immediately inside of my head, that's why I said sometimes I really don't need the cards. Like I don't be needing the cards to do this. It just helps and um, you know, it just helps. And uh, it's helpful for you guys to understand, you know, how this is all going and why. But um, I heard immediately in my head, very clearly, it could go one or two ways. That's what Spirit said. Spirit said it can go one or two ways because this Ace of Swords fell out kind of sideways and I didn't even know if it was in the upright it was, just, I mean, in the reverse, but it was more in the reverse than the upright. So I took it in the reverse. But uh, Spirit says that you can either have a mental breakthrough and find clarity and a sharpness in, of your mind, which is beautiful. Who doesn't want cl a clear mind and a sharp mind and to reach a breakthrough? Everyone's trying to chase breakthroughs. This the new moon. Everyone is like, if you're not looking for a breakthrough, if you're not trying to level yourself up, you're low key probably asleep or lagging behind, which I'm not judging, but that's just probably the reality of the situation. So if I know anything about Sag and I feel like I do, honey, y'all definitely love a breakthrough. Y'all love to be challenged and y'all love to level up. Some of y'all is probably just a little comfortable for a while. And you know, you don't wanna like risk your financial security, which I understand, but Spirit is telling you to literally keep your financial security and get more and be more victorious because of fate because fate is literally stepping in and that's just what's happening. This is your time of a new cycle. You know, you might wanna go for that breakthrough and that sharpness of mind. However, Spirit said it can go one of two ways, this Ace of Swords here. So either you can have a breakthrough of mind, clarity, sharp mind, you know, or you can be confused and brutal and chaotic. Cause Spirit really stressed in this reading to me because I'm, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna tell you the last card that came out. The last card that came out is the four of wands in the upright. Lots of fire. Spirit wants you to reignite your fire. I feel that in my freaking bones. But um, 
yeah spirit is really stressing community and home and friendships celebration i feel like you're very much so dealing with the brutal and it fell under the four of th the i'm sorry the three of cups so you could have lots of brutality chaos and confusion going on within your relationships and your community in your home life but spirit is telling you if that that may be the case for some of you but if it's not the case for some of you then spirit just wants you to literally like dig back into lean back into and, and just kind of submerge yourself in your home and community and friendship arena you probably have been focused on your pinnacles and your financial security so much and so comfortable in that space you've probably neglected other things spirit wants you to know that your pinnacles your new found sense of success and victory literally lies in the hands of your friends family and community spirit wants you to work with your friends work with your community work with your family you know who those people are in your life obviously you just can't pick a family member pick a friend and say hey work with me you know there's someone in your life because spirit wouldn't guide you to do it if spirit didn't already have some set up you know what i'm saying and um spirit just been looking out for me i've been questioning my intuition even though it's super razor sharp for all these other reasons but when i also asked about this um ace of wands uh card and i heard what i heard in my head i, I thought to myself for a second can i trust what I just heard, I don't know why, because I know I can't, I've had these gifts since I was a child, but I just now opened up about my gifts as an adult, which uh, is very uncomfortable for me, but I'm just doing what spirit is telling me to do. Uh, I looked up and I saw a baby crow on top of this billboard thingy outside, like literally outside of my window, and it turned and looked at me and then it flew away. So I take that as like your magic and your, and your gifts are still in baby mode because you're just now like, using like showing them to the world but you know trust them because though they're small and new so to speak they're very powerful uh very powerful and i know that for a fact that they are powerful so i'm just saying that in case you needed a little something to help you uh be propelled into your future uh spirit is really speaking to us clearly about this situation spirit really wants you to work with your home and family if you want to maintain your pinnacles if you don't you could very well much so be on uh, on a drawback you know you could lose things because obviously adapting to change is just important that's what being human and being alive is about we got corona going on everybody can't work the same you know so i don't know if it has anything to do with that maybe it does but you definitely want to um adapt to changes and, and and rebalance your decisions and your priorities work with family and friends work with family and friends sagittarius because that's where your victory lies. This is fate. So that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I'm sending you so much freaking love. You don't even understand. Um, yeah, if you guys need anything, all of that information will be in the description box. Um, please, uh, you know, if you want, I'm saying please, I don't know why. But like, if you want, subscribe, hit the subscribe thing. You know, it'll update you every time that I put a video out. Um, yeah just you know thank you for watching me if you're returning and if you're new i am zen in the void i am zen uh i am zen in this void space that we're all in all the time so um yeah that's all i have for you i love you so much peace see you next time